How do you like my new threads? Got this from a coordinator in Wisconsin, so it's not just you students and teachers who should be sending me t-shirts. Now let's check out this problem. I was thinking about doing this in the dark, because <laughs> you'd still be able to see me. Now here's our problem. We want to count the number of subsets of M-A-T-H-C-O-U-R-S-E that have at least one vowel. Now this is a target round problem, so we got some time to work on it, but not a whole lot of time. So there's got to be something tricky we can do here, something really sneaky. I don't see it. I, uh, huh. I can't see something tricky. I can't see something smart to do here. So you know what? We're going to do something stupid. Let's just list them. Let's see. Uh, at least one vowel. So M-A, that works. A-T works. A-C-O works. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is going to take forever. Um, yeah, couldn't find something smart to do. The stupid thing is way too stupid. That's, that's not going to work. Oh, it's time for my, one of my extra special secret strategies. Wishful thinking. Now, here, here's how it works, all right? So let's get rid of the stupid stuff first. Here, here's how it works. First step, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Come on, come on, work with me here. Close your eyes. Cl close your eyes. Close your eyes. And think. Wishful thinking. Wish. Close your eyes. Got them closed. Got them closed. Wish for what makes the problem hard to go away. All right, ready? Open your eyes. It worked. It went away. The vowel thing went away. Now we've got a problem we should be able to do. How many subsets are there of just math course? Uh, I, st I still got nothing. Let's try it again. All right, one more time. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Got them closed? Come on, you, you, right there. Close your eyes. All right. Close your eyes and, and think hard about what makes the problem hard and wish for it to go away. Wish for it to go away. All right, you ready? You ready? Open your eyes. It worked. It worked. I know how to do this problem. How many subsets are there of just M? Well, you either have it or you don't. There's two. Yes. All right. Let's, let's maybe add some stuff back in that we had before and, and see M, A. How many subsets are there of just M and A? Let's make a table. Maybe we'll get lucky and a pattern will come out. Make a little table here. And for M, we saw that there were just two things we could do. There's nothing in the subset or, or just an M. Let's see. M, A. For two, we can still have just nothing. We can have an M alone, an A alone. I'm going to group these by how many letters are in the subset. Or we could have both of them, M and A. So there's one, two, three, four. So this one had a total. Put the totals over here of two. And when there were two letters, I had a total of four. That's interesting. Let's add another one. M-A-T. And still, nothing. That works. And I can stick in just an M, just an A, just a T. So there are three ways to do that. For two letters, M and A, M and T, and A and T. So there's three ways to have two letters out of these three. And then there's just all three. M, A, T. One, three, three, one. Where have you seen those numbers before? One plus three plus three plus one is eight. Hmm, see a pattern? Let's check one more, make sure we do have a pattern here. M, A, T, H. And instead of listing them all, because they're going to be a lot, we'll just count them. Obviously, there's still just one that has no letters. It's the empty set. And how many ways can we have one letter out of these? Well, there's four letters. There's four ways to do that. So two letters, we can have M and A, M and T, M and H. That's three plus a and T gives us 4, A and H gives us 5, T and H, that gives us 6. To get three letters out of these four, we just have to choose one to leave out. There are four ways we can pick one to leave out, so that gives us four ways to do that. And for four letters, just have all of them. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Where have you seen those numbers before? Add them all up, and you get 16. Now do you see a pattern? 2, 4, 8, 16. 
One letter is 2 to the first, 2 letters is 2 squared, 3 letters is 2 cubed, 4 letters is 2 to the 16th. Now we have a guess for all 10 letters. We guess that it's going to be 2 to the 10th. 10 letters, 2 to the 10th. But why is it true? Why is it true? Well, the 10, that's obvious where the 10 comes from. There are 10 letters. What's the 2 all about? Hmm. Well, 2, what do we have 2 of? Let's think about how we would make one subset. I call this constructive counting. Sometimes I just think about how I would make one of what I want to count, and that tells me how to count all of them. Now, if I were to make a subset of this, I would just go through and I'd ask each letter. I'd say, you got two choices. Are you in or are you out? Are you in or are you out? So I'd ask the M, are you in or out? And M only has two choices. And then I'd ask the A, are you in or are you out? A only has two choices. Same for T, same for H, same for C, O, U, R, S, E. Each letter has only two choices. And sure enough, when I multiply all those choices, number of choices together, I get two to the 10th. There are two to the 10th subsets of math course. You're still here. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you remembered that, didn't you? We had another problem up here. Let's see. How many subs has... Yeah, you remember that vowel thing, don't you? Have at least... Uh, one vowel. Uh, I really wish you'd forgotten that, because I, I mean, we knew how to do it without... All right, so we know that, well, we did figure this out, right? No restrictions. That was just two to the 10th, right? Two to the 10th, we figured that out. And now we have to worry about this vowel thing. Let's try it one more time. One more time. Wish for, wish for it to go, wish for it. I hate vowels. We'll make them go away. There we go. No vowels. We know how to do this. There's six letters. There aren't any vowels, so we don't have any problems. No vowels. No vowels. There's six letters. How many subsets are there of the six letters? There's two to the sixth. So. No vowels to the sixth. Hey, that solved the problem. There are two to the tenth without any restrictions. That's 1,024. And there are two to the sixth with no vowels. And if we take out all the ones that have no vowels, we are just left with the ones that have at least one vowel. And look at that. We focused really hard, we thought about what we didn't want, and we got what we wanted in the end.